You're watching ESC News. Thank you for joining us. Dutchman Dylan Van Bale won the Paris Roubaix Monument Classic on Sunday, April 17, to give the Ineos Grenadiers team their most prestigious victory in a one day race. Van Bale, who was second in the Tour of Flanders two weeks ago, went solo 19 km from the finish line on the key cobbled sector to prevail a record average speed of 45.79 km per hour. Belgium's Wer van Ert, Jumbo Visma, back to a competitive race after two weeks off due to COVID-19, took second place 1 minute 47 seconds behind after out-sprinting Swiss Stefan Kerg in a Robax Vanderdrome. Favourite Mathieu van de Pol was never really in the mix and finished a disappointing ninth, more than two minutes behind the country art, first Dutch rider to win Paris Robex next Nicky Trespessa in 2014. Ines Grandiris blew up the race with 210 km to go, splitting the bunch in crosswinds and leaving the likes of Van Ert and Van de Pol chasing. Van Berlie caught up with the leading trio of Sylvania's Maciek Mohek, Belgian's Yenis Lampert and Tom Deverdick with 25 kilometres to go. He waited for this moment six kilometres further down the road to accelerate on the Cobbard sector of Kamplin de Pevel and only Moharic and Lambert seemed to be able to follow. They soon dropped back with Lambert crashing out with seven kilometres left following sight contact with a spectator. They soon dropped back with Lambert crashing out with seven kilometres left following the slight contact with the spectator. Van Berlin shook his head in disbelief as he hit the wooden boards of the velodrome for the last 750 metres before coasting to victory. I could not believe it when I went into the velodrome. I look on the other side and I see if there were other guys, but I was completely alone, Van Berlin. His face covered in a mix of sweat and dust set after the 257.2 kilometre effort. Yeah, when, uh, when the DS car came next to me with Sarah Vaz, that... Thank you.